can be argued to be a more, or this is, has been found, the permutation approach or the randomization approach has been found to be a more robust approach to uh, doing a parallel analysis. And in a lot of data sets, uh, there is not univariate or multivariate normality uh, in the data. And I'd say that's particularly true in um, finance data or investment data. And that's actually the example that I used in the principal components analysis. These were premium discount discount values associated with the share price versus net asset values. So I'm going to use both in this tutorial to show you that actually in this case it didn't differentiate very much. Um, but it can at times and I've used this test many many times and um, I think if you have the processing power to use uh, the permutation approach, why not? Uh, so what you do is you literally copy all of the information in the web page. So copy that and then you go into SPSS and you open, you go into file, whoops, file. So let's just say you have your data set and this is the data set you actually want to do a principal components analysis slash parallel analysis. You go into file, new, syntax, and you literally just paste, I just press control V, so I press control C and control V so that now I can um, have this information into my syntax file. Now there's something uh, that you should delete first because the syntax actually gives you an example uh, data set upon which to just try it out and I wouldn't bother doing that myself. I think with today's um, computers that you don't really have to worry too much about how much processing time it's going to take. So delete uh, from start of official data commands and all the way to end of artificial data commands. Just delete that from your file because um, you won't, I don't think you should, you need to do that. Um, I certainly don't do it. Uh, okay, so the three or the four things you have to specify in this syntax, once you've got it in and you've deleted that that um, example that's automatically included, <coughs> excuse me, is the number of data sets. And a uh, hundred's really not very much. Um, so I'd say a thousand. So this is going to be like a sample size of a thousand, basically. And that's pretty strong and robust. I think anything over 5,000 is, is probably overdoing it. Um, 10,000 would definitely be the maximum you'd ever consider, I think. I don't think you're going to get much differences after, like even 5,000 would be quite big. I'm going to specify 1,000 for this example. Now, enter the desired percentile here. Now, this is the equivalent of statistical significance testing where you're specifying your alpha level, basically. Uh, and in this case, the default is 95. So we're going to get percentiles associated with the eigenvalues that have been estimated on the 1,000 data sets that's going to be generated from the parallel analysis or the Monte Carlo simulation. And this program actually by default uh, provides the 50th percentile, the means, uh, is actually medians or means in a normally distributed uh, data set. The mean and the median will, will correspond exactly. So you're going to get the mean uh, eigenvalue from the Monte Carlo simulation and you're going to get the 95th percentile. So the 50th percentile and the 95th percentile. Now here we've got um, the next option is principal components analysis versus principal common factor analysis. I'm doing a component analysis, so uh, I'm going to specify the eigenvalues to be generated as component analysis eigenvalues. And I'm going to do this analysis twice just to show you whether there's really much of a difference, and it turns out that there's not really in this case. But I'm going to choose the conventional approach for now for normally distributed random data rather than the permutation approach, which is two. So I'm going to select one. Now, the last thing I need to select are my variables. It's actually, actually the first thing. I just forgot to do it. I just remembered going through it now. So var1 to var9 is the default. And unless your variables are actually called that and you actually have nine that you need to do, um, you're going to have to change that. And in my case, or in this example case, there's there are nine variables upon which I want to subject the principal components analysis or the, the parallel analysis slash Monte Carlo analysis 
and they go from as demonstrated in my previous uh, tutorial where I demonstrated how to do the principal components there are actually nine and it goes from CIN these are the ASX codes of these stocks CIN all the way to AMH now you could input 